Hey boy. Hey baby. This is my mum and dad's cat, Coco. Hi guys, it's username Kate here and welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to be talking you around... Oh, are you okay boy? I'm going to be talking you around a Triumph Tiger 900 GT Low, which has been kindly supplied to me by Triumph UK just to test ride for a few weeks, you know, make some vlogs and stuff like that, which I've got in the pipeline. But first, I will show you around the bike, I'll um, do a little dash vid, I'll sit on the bike so you guys can see what it's like in terms of height, given that it is the low model. So yeah, stick around, stay tuned, and um, let's get to it. Actually guys, before we crack on, if you could subscribe to the channel, it'd mean the world. And if you could like this video and drop a comment below, that'd be amazing. I always try and hang around in the comments and reply to as many people as I can. So yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. So I was really surprised when Triumph um, got in touch and suggested that I take this bike out. Obviously I'm going to jump at the chance because I am a fan of an adventure bike, as you guys know. So let me just show you this bike, okay? So guys, you must forgive me. This bike is absolutely honking. <laughs> I've just come back from Wales with Mike and a few of my friends and it's like a cemetery on there so just see past the bugs see past the flies um you guys can see past dirt i can see past dirt when i'm valuing a bike so you guys can see past dirt in a video okay so here it is so it is an adventure bike tiger 900 so it's got that 900 triple engine with that lovely triple header pipe that kind of looks like Thor's um, staff or whatever it is, not Thor, um, Zeus, Zeus, Zeus. But yeah, as you can tell, this really is the low version because look at that scoop in the seat. When, um, when I first saw it, I, I couldn't believe how low it looked. Like obviously I get it's the low, but there's low and then there's low, low. So one thing that massively impressed me, massive being the main word, look at that thing. Now, that's like the size of my hand, just for context, even though I have baby hands. Um, but yeah, it's like a, an iPad. It's absolutely humongous. So this one's chain drive. It says that it's got a low ride seat on, but a comfort seat for a pillar. Not that Mike's going to be jumping on the back of that. And this is what the front looks like. Now, it's had a bit of a facelift since the um, Tiger was at 800. It looks kind of, dare I say, pissed off. A little angry. Like an angry duck. I like it. The eyes look sort of squinty and mean. It's got those hand guards, bigger screen. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Here's what the engine looks like. We've got some big old industrial looking brake pedals there. high-rise exhaust and it comes with these Metzler tyres which I'm not used to riding on tyres that have a really sort of big sidewall like that but we gave uh, we gave Wales a good go didn't we
So they do this version. They, they do a Triumph Tiger 900. They do a Triumph Tiger 900 GT, which is that. They do a Triumph Tiger 900 GT low, which is that bad boy, and it is super low. And then they've got the um, sort of more off-road focus ones, which are the Tiger 900 Rally and the Rally Pro. So there's quite a lot on offer from the range. Obviously, I'm going to focus on um, the low today. But yeah, let me sit on it and I'll show you guys um, how low it actually is. As you guys can see, this is actually super low. For me just to sit on it, I can literally flat feet, both feet on the ground when I come to a stop. Now you guys know I've got a 29 inch MC, I always say this, but it just gives you an idea if this is the first time that you've ever watched my video. Um, but yeah, it's a super low bike. Um, Hannah, camera woman, I don't know if you can just zoom in on this belly pan underneath, on this sump guard, sorry. So if you get right low with the camera, mm -hmm. you can see that because it is such a low bike, you do sacrifice that little bit of ground clearance and you can find that you end up scraping your pegs quite a bit. Um, but that's just what comes with low bikes. If you can live with that and you're short like me, you'll be alright. So other notable features of the Triumph Tiger 900 GT Low. I like the fact that it's got Mizoki suspension set up. So you've got the Mizoki um, front forks, you've got a Mizoki shock as well. Sorry, you can hear me creaking in my CDs, typical. Uh, I like the fact that it's got LED lights, indicators as well. And it's also got Brembo Stylmer calipers. Now, I haven't really heard much about Stylema calipers, so maybe I need to do a bit more research into them. But that's what it's rocking anyway. Twin discs for a bit more stopping power. Moving on to the cushy features. You've got cruise control. And also, I didn't think that this bike had heated grips. I thought, fancy having an adventure bike and there's no heated grips on it. And it's taken me all this time to find that button. I can't believe it. I just, I wasn't looking at it, you know, and it's right there. So yeah, that is where the heat grips are on the Tigers. But yeah, let's have a look at this screen. Let's uh, see what it's all about. Right, I haven't had much time to play with um, the screen, to tell you the truth. I've just been so busy with work, I've just been jumping on it and riding. But that's what it looks like. So obviously you've got your miles per hour nice and big. You've got your gear indicator that rocks up there. Um, you've got your fuel there. I actually need some fuel. There's like none in it. Um, but I think you control it all from here. So you've got the home button there. You've got the mode button there. And you've got ways to change things there. So if we press the mode button, it brings up the modes. So there's off-road mode, rain mode, road mode, and sport. It's been in sport most of the day today because we've been thrashing it around some twisties. But yeah, you can um, you can put it in enduro mode, or off-road mode, sorry. ABS off-road, map off-road, traction control off, yeah. Rain, so maps rain, ABS is set to road and traction control setting the rain setting as well. Road, everything across the board is road. And then sport, ABS is road, map sport, traction control sport as well. So that's pretty cool. If you move over to the home button and you press that, it takes you to this. So if you press that in, you can select 
So you can select modes this way um, instead of using the mode button, but I, I just use the mode button to, to be honest. So to come out of that we press the home button, go down, you've got bike set up, press that, let's have a look at TSA, enabled, disabled, I'm not sure what TSA is so I'm gonna research it and I'm gonna ping it up here now. And then going back, bike setup, TC, so attraction control, I know what that is, service, so it tells you when your service is due, which is good. Going back to trip setup, you can set your trip, I don't want to mess around with that, I have no need for it. Display setup, so colour. So you can actually customise what colour you want your dash to be. Um, let's go with green and upset the system and make it feel like it's trying to be a Kawasaki. <laughs> Brightness, see so there you can amend that. Visible trays, so this is basically like the status uh, content lines on the GS, but this is called visible trays. So you can see on here, so this will appear on your main screen, but if you don't want to see these things, you can turn them off simply by pressing and it'll deselect them. Going back, gear shift indicator, sucker for that, I would never turn that off. Um, ah, so maybe actually this is when um, it advises that you shift, it's not a gear indicator as such, it's the shift indicator. So you could set it, I think, and it'll flash like a crazy person um, when you hit that nine and a half thousand revs. But we'll uh, we'll just put it on default. Language, self-explanatory. Units. This is where you can change things, like PSI to bar, all that jazz. Go down. Clock, date. So you can kind of see all that on display setup and then you can just reset to default. So we press that to exit and there you go, you can see it's gone green now because I changed it to green. Um, let's see what you can actually see on this main screen. Okay so you can rotate the top by pressing down on this button. So you can, if you wanted to change the colour you can do so just via this motion. Styles. Okay. So style two, let's see what that's about. Okay, okay. Style three. Ooh. Looks like you're going into a void. Um, and let's see four. I quite like that. Probably keep it on that. To get out of it, I think we just press. Oh no, you can rotate through everything just by pressing the side. You rotate through it all. But I think if we press the home button, boom, we're just back to it. So it's set on revs there. So you can see miles an hour, what gear in, everything like that. Cruise control, if you want to set it. That's what you press. So yeah, that's just a quick overview of the dash. I'm sure there's more things that I could delve into, but I think it gives you a good idea about how to use it. Okay, so that's just a quick little introduction on this bike. Obviously, I'm gonna be uploading a vlog on it. Um, I've actually done things a little bit back to front. I've already filmed my vlog um, just while I had a, a weekend off. I could plan that. Went out with Mike, he took my Triumph Street Triple. So it was a tale of two Triumphs. And um, yeah, that vlog will be uploaded hopefully in the near future.
but yeah let me know what you think of this do you own this bike have you got this bike do you have the non-low version did you go for a rally over a gt what were your reasons feel free to let me know in the comments i'd love to hear what you guys think and yeah until next time take care ride safe signing out